Hi YouTube, a little late, it's empties for June time. Uh, I've been away, so I finished up a few products while I was on holiday, quite a few before then. Let's dig in and I'll tell you what I thought. Um, here's an oldie, I finally finished up a body shop body butter in... I think it's just called gingerbread. Oh, here we go. Um, ginger sparkling body butter. Um, it was meant to be one of those ones that gives a bit of glitter. I don't know so much about that. You can see I did use it all up. Uh, it's a nice, pleasant, um, slightly gingery fragrance, not overpowering. So I was able to continue using it into the summer. But I mean, it did take me ages to use up because I think I bought this in the January sales. I do like the Body Shop Body Butters. I think um, for more value um, purchases, they're about the best uh, thick body butter or cream that you can get. And then fairly absorbent. Uh, they're very moisturising and they do them in a ton of different fragrances. So um, this was a seasonal special, which you can't get now, but um, you're bound to find something that you like, be it fruity, floral, herbal or whatever. So I do like those. I wasn't that keen on that fragrance. Uh, this was one I used on holiday. It was from Sephora, so sadly you can't get it in the UK except online. And this was one of these um, masks. You can see the little picture that um, is a, a like tissue cloth fibre mask that is soaked in the material and you put it on over your face as a hole for your mouth and nose and eyes leave it on for about 10-15 minutes, take it off, smooth in the rest of the product. And you do get, um, I'm not going to say a nice sensation when it's on, because I'm not sure I really like having this thing on my face all that much, but it's not that unpleasant. Uh, but you do um, certainly get a nice texture to your skin afterwards. This was an ultra hydrating and brightening mask with rose. Um... I did feel it was quite hydrating, certainly straight afterwards and the next day. So I have got another one in, I think, pomegranate, which I showed in my haul video. Quite liked it. <clears throat> uh, this is another American product, Bath and Body Works Antibacterial Deep Cleansing in Peach Bellini. Uh, I've more or less used that up, can't suck any more out. Uh, I liked it. I like this fragrance. Um, it is a nice antibac um cleanser although they can be a bit harsh on the skin this was um a scrub that kind of busts the um the tube which was from bath and body works as well uh as supposedly a two-in-one body scrub and wash i wasn't as keen on this i bought it last year and kind of took ages to use it up a uh, bit of a generic scent and the, the scrub beads were quite harsh, I felt, on the skin. So I wouldn't really go for that again. They do lots of different fragrances. Um, Hydrabo HTO Bioderma. You know that I love this. I go through bottles regularly. This was the um, extra dehydrated sensitive skin. I mean, they work for sensitive skin all of the range. I honestly didn't feel there was much difference between this one and the regular one. So uh, I'd probably get the regular one again just because it's easier to get in the UK now. Um, this was an interesting product. I got it as a giveaway. I very, very seldom get giveaways. I promise you nothing here is sent to me that I talk about on this channel. They're all items that I buy for myself. And if I give you a link, it is not a link that is earning me any money. I want to make that absolutely clear. Unlike a lot of YouTubers and bloggers, I just give you a convenience link. I get no money for anything I recommend. And if I did, I would tell you. Uh, but this was a goodie bag uh, that I got um, at a Space NK um, event in the summer. And you can buy this in their shops. It's called Life Drift Away Milk Soak. Um, which is supposed to relax you, containing lily, lily, geranium, violet, cedar, sweet vanilla. And I did like it. Very, very pleasant, yeah, gentle fragrance. Kind of reminded me of some baby fragrances, which, you know, perhaps you might not, not like the sound of. But as an evening um, bath soak, it turned the water slightly milky, not bubbly. 
it was nice and uh, I'm not sure how expensive it is. I mean, if it's super expensive, which a lot of Space NK stocked products are, I'm not sure I would get it again because um, it wasn't as good as the Aroma Therapy Associates, for example, um, sleep relax oils. But I did like it. So subject to price, um, I might get it again. I would definitely get again the Bliss Hand Cream um, because I love the fragrance, Blood Orange and White Pepper. This is a lovely handy size for the handbag. Um, what I would say, which is against the product, is it doesn't contain an SPF, which I think is quite important for a hand cream that you've got in your handbag that you're applying during the day because, I mean, as you can see, my hands have got the famous age spots that come from not wearing proper SPF, which I've always been very careful to put on my face less so on my hands but subject to that it's a nice moisturizing hand cream with a very pleasant fragrance um here's a goodie that i will purchase again dermalogica total eye care it's taken me ages to use up spf 15 very slightly tinted and very slightly brightening uh, i use it as a day eye moisturizer it's very good it's light doesn't cause whiteheads or blockages doesn't um, increase the look of your wrinkles, giving you a bit of SPF and a bit of brightening. I mean, I do need to use a brightener uh, or concealer on top for my dark circles, but it's a good product. Most Dermalogica ones are, to be honest. Uh, here's another Dermalogica, the Essential Cleansing Solution. I actually like the um, Ultra Soothing um, Cleansing Lotion. This is a solution that's quite creamy, but you really need to wash off. And I don't like using water every day. I do use when I use a scrub or an exfoliator. Um, so this wouldn't be my favourite Dermalogica cleanser, but, you know, it's good. This was a handy travel size, obviously. So I use that up. A um, couple of deodorants, Dove, Invisible Dry and uh, a Nivea. They are what they are. Uh, I seem to go through a lot of deodorants these days. I had um, an interesting Yves Lom, um sample. This was their moisture mask. And I liked it a lot, actually. It has quite mixed reviews I was looking at on the internet. Some people dislike its kind of stickiness. It's more like a very thick serum that you put on, but then wipe off, massage in. And... Uh, Again, I'm guessing it would be very expensive because her products are. This was a good sample. It lasted me a good few goes. And I did like it. I would definitely look at it. Um, I've got a lot of masks at the moment, as you will see from one of my haul videos that I've bought to use up. So uh, I'm not in desperate need of a mask. Um, but I would look at it. One of the Prada um, samples, very iris-led. I'm not sure what particular fragrance it is. Difficult to see. It's not marked, but quite liked it. Wouldn't buy it. Was just using it up on holiday. Um, I've talked about the Hydrocalm Global Protection Day Cream from Wren. This is another very generous sample size that I used up. Uh, I will look at purchasing this when I next need a day cream. I've got two on the go at the moment. An Arven and a Simply Skin. So I don't need to... Um, buy a moisturiser for the day at the moment but when I do I will look at this I found it very pleasant very moisturising not irritating for my sensitive skin uh, no SPF so again that's the downside with it you have to wear a sunscreen as well um, but otherwise I liked it a lot and um, yeah I would look at it and then the other oh this is an old product clinic look you can't even see the <laughs> The uh, writing is completely worn off. It was one of these poor, um, I'm going to say fillers in minimizers, I think they call them. Uh, I've got a lot of open pores on my chin and round my nose. Uh, I used to find this product really useful, actually, for filling in wrinkles, because it's a kind of silicon base, but skin coloured to wear under your makeup. Um, I now have Botox on the worst of my um, wrinkles between my eyes um, but before I had that I used to use this to fill in and it was quite effective for that not so much for filling in my pores I have to say it kind of beads up now so I didn't in fact finish this completely but um, so 
So that's Clinique Pore Minimizer. Good for filling in wrinkles, less good for um, dodgy pores. And then the remaining products are just some dental floss and toothpaste, which I don't think you need to look at. So I did use up quite a lot and I liked most of it this time. I will actually look at rebuying some of the stuff or would definitely have in mind when I'm in the market for those items again. Uh, speak to you soon. Bye for now.